our hometown, Bai Hua Ling. Bai Hua Ling of Galigong Mountain in Yunnan is home to millions of birds and beasts. But in the past, endless hunting turned Bai Hua Ling into hell. The heroine of our story is a bird escaping from hunters. My name is Azur. In the past, living in Bai Hualing, Hundred Flower Ridge of Yunnan, I spent the days with my friends, golden monkeys, squirrels, red pandas, and green pea fowls. This forest was our Musikverein, the streams our violinists, the flowers our dancers, and the trees our audiences. The other day, humans arrived. They claimed our land and left us homeless. The long black tube in their hands became our Grim Reaper. However, I survived on that day. I noticed what the female tourist said. Take care of these birds. You'll get more than you can imagine. The thing she hid from was not a rifle, but a telephoto lens. People realized that protecting birds could bring more benefits than hunting them. Things started to change from that day. People with different skins and languages start to visit by Hualing. I learn that the long black tube is called camera. I am now a global model. See? That is the way to take a selfie. Today, humans share by Hualing with us. I am not afraid at all. The ruined forest is now farmland for coffee, nuts, tea, oranges, mangoes, and chestnuts. Sometimes we take a picnic there. Birds flock from near and far to settle here. Our hometown is much more colorful. In 1983, the Galangong Mountain Nature Reserve was established. In 1995, the Galagong Mountain Farmers Biodiversity Conservation Association was founded, which was China's first. Bird hunters became bird protectors, and wood loggers became forest rangers. The economic income of Bai Waling Village in 2020 was 34.8 million won, 15 times that of 1995. Now, the natives and the newcomers are sharing this beautiful valley of Bai Waling together.